In this clip, we're going to talk about three terms. We're going to talk about the term unity, frequency response, and dynamic range. You'll find a zero or a U in various places on your mixing board. And now here, this is where we're finding it on our channel fader. And unity simply means no matter where you find it, if I have my fader set to unity, the signal coming in to the fader, to this point of gain, is the same as what's going out. So it's being untouched. Unity means equal gain or uh, unaltered gain uh, in the simplest way to understand it. You'll also find this unity gain mark on your master outs, on all your channel faders. You'll find a unity gain marking most anywhere where you can increase or decrease the gain in your signal path. Now if you think of frequency response, frequency uh, the audible range is 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz or 20 kilohertz and frequency response is essentially how your equipment or your environment, your room, everything that exists that can handle sound has a frequency response um, is essentially uh, talking about how the frequency is responding to our room or our equipment in terms of amplitude we can have say 4k with all of our equipment might be naturally louder than the rest of the frequencies or our room with no sound system at all can excite or diminish uh, other frequencies in the audible range so frequency response is uh, how the frequencies in the audible range respond in terms of amplitude to each other Think of the dynamic range of how quiet your floor noise, you have a floor noise, and how loud you can get with your, with your program material. Now in the recording environment, you actually, uh, your dynamic range is from the floor noise, the noise of your equipment, which exists in your live environment as well, um, to the point of distortion. And that's the range for which you can put program material in. Now, uh, in the live environment, your floor noise is, yes, the noise that your equipment makes at a very low level. You also have the sound of the environment you're in. For example, if you're in a church or a, a concert or whatever, the people breathe and they talk and they whisper and they eat candy and they make a certain level of noise. And then the top of the dynamic range will be the point of distortion or uncontrollable feedback or... Um, or if you don't have any of those, it's the point for which it's not comfortable to listen to anymore. 